Hi everyone, I'm going to take a minute to show you how to do breakout rooms uh, manually straight from uh, Google Meet. So right now I'm currently in a class actually, they're all, all of them are in their breakout rooms. And um, so what you'd start from here, you open up a tab and you go into Waffle, you press the Meet button and you create a meeting, start a meeting. Name it, for example, I'll name it Team F because they're right now in Teams. Whatever team you want to call it, press Continue. Then at this point, you want to turn off your camera and your sound. Press Join. And you see this information, copy, join info. There are many ways to copy the information. This is one of them, copy, join info. You can add people as well, but the fastest way I found was to put, click copy, joining info. And then you want to also click this button here, the uh, speaker. This way, um, you don't hear them, they don't hear you. Otherwise, you will have everybody talking at once and it'll be um hard to follow so by have by doing this you block out their sound this mute button they don't hear you and here they won't see you as well okay so and then you can try go in between every class to uh to see what's going on now how do you share this particular um link so remember you've already copied it from before However, you can also uh, just literally just copy paste the link from the top, copy, press, um, like copy it, control C, um, or down here, you can press the uh, button and it's here as well, copy joining info. So there are many ways. Once you have that copied, you go back to the original main page of the meeting and you enter it in the chat. So my chat, where is the chat? Right here. And you enter in here, copy paste, right? For example, mine is team F and control V for paste. And there you go. Now the students have the link to your meeting. Okay. Once you've done that, you can ask them to uh, also turn off their cameras on the main meeting and mute themselves from this particular main meeting. And you can tell them we'll meet back here, let's say at 2.40, 2.50, whichever one you want, okay? And now you see, I have already a few meetings going on. They are sharing their work on Google Docs. These are all meetings going on right now. So this team, for example, is sharing information in the chat. Um, let's change the layouts. Oops, they're using, the chat to share the information and they're also uh, sharing sharing the document that they were working on uh, let's see another team so it's nice because you can go in between all the teams you see here they're talking and sharing information oops that's not the right one and they're talking and this team is sharing information then you can even see who's in here. Really, it really is like your own little mini Google Meet meeting, um, but smaller ones. And in here, you can see who's here, All right? See who's presenting. And right now they don't hear me talk and I don't hear them either. It's completely quiet, but I could turn on my sound and hear them as well. Hello, everybody. Hi. Everybody's doing good? Yes. Great, keep up the good work. And you see, so that's it. You just keep going one after the other and you can even watch them. They don't even know you're there. See like, for example, this group, they don't hear me. I can press this button again. I hear them, but they don't know I'm listening. So it's a nice way to, spy on them if you want just to see if they're actually doing work and that's it it's as easy as that and it's very very effective the kids like it a lot
and you can have sh a shorter or smaller discussions. Uh, you can even choose to uh, maybe even like um, break out into teams that have different strengths. That's an option as well. That's it. See you later.